Hello there, everybody. Uh, just waiting to see it starting to show up on my YouTube page. And there we go. We are streaming. So, hi, everybody. This is the... Well, why am I looking in the camera when the camera's not there? We just have our... Our... our uh, uh, show logo type thing. Here is me. Hi, everybody. So, in the last three weeks or so, we've been doing uh, image manipulation of previously photographed things. We did the, uh, we made our little, oh, sorry, our little uh, Bob Ross with my face on it. Uh, artwork, title artwork whatever you want to call it uh we did the dracula cat and last week we did that thing making jury into a sort of propaganda type uh, uh poster thing all using previously made uh photographic elements we're going to do something a little different this week we're going to make stuff from scratch so it's going to be a multi-week thing where I am going to make the facade of a movie theater and have, have uh, you know, like outside any theater you go to, you know, you get the little boxes with the, with the uh, lights around them and the posters for movies that are coming up along the wall. We're going to do that now. And that's actually what we're going to do today. We're going to get the light boxes, make the light boxes for, uh, to put the um, movie posters in. Now, I've got a thing that I'm working on that will be a little bit of a mashup of a movie and a TV show, but I won't tell you what it is because I don't want to. Anyway, so we are now here. Well, you'll get rid of my face for the time being when we'll show you our Photoshop thing blank account I'm not gonna show you what we're gonna do until we get it done now the first thing we're going to do is make the box in which the the uh, movie posters can be seen but first we're going to the view thing and Put in a new guide layout and that's we don't actually we don't need that for this actually we will do this and I'll tell you the reason in a second so we go back to the view put in the guide layout and but let's see, let's change this from 20. No, 20 would be okay. And the gutter. All right, so. And I got rid of it again, which is very smart of me. New guide layout, click OK, and it shows up. So what we're going to do, originally what I was going to do is do the, the box in which the lights and the thing is found but I thought better of it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the light bulbs that go around and then put the box around that because of distribution of the lights around is a little bit hard after you do the box so somewhat like the temperatures when mr. Fahrenheit made his scale and then saw what levels what temperatures water freezes and boils at and that's the number on their scale we're going to do it the celsius way we're going to see what col what temperature it freezes call that zero what temperature it boils and call that 100 and then make the scale from that so anyway what i'm going to do instead of using a square rectangle tool i'm going to use the ellipse tool and we're going to make uh, make a circle right here. Whoa, and you can see that. Okay, that's great. And since I put gutters in between, so basically you've got, uh, what are they called? 
uh, canvas guides that'll show you where th where uh, like it'll divide up the page into divide the page you have to see my hands going or you won't understand divide the page into columns and rows and the gutter is the spaces in between the gutters and rows so we got a circle here yay circle what we're going to do is copy that circle multiple times now how do we do that well I'm glad you asked well you might have not asked but I can't hear you because this is a one-way thing I can't hear what you're saying although I think eventually maybe sometime once we have people actually watching I'll have a chat room but that's neither here nor there we're gonna go to the black arrow which is also known as the path selection tool as opposed to the white arrow which is the direct selection tool and we might get into that a little bit later but what we have is the black arrow now if we hold down the option key you can copy the circle which is good because we need more than one light around the uh, thing of the uh, of the what is it? what is it we're doing we're doing the uh, the display for movie posters so let's see we've got one two three four five let's do six and a quick way to do multiple is we'll hold down our shift and click on each of these and since the gutter is uniform in between them we can hit the copy and we'll copy multiples and get them in here so we've got we've got our 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 12 12 uh, things now we're gonna go to the nope we don't need to do that we'll marquee the whole whole bunch of them and click hold our option or control or no alt key and hold down the shift so it'll go directly down and we'll move it to say here so we've got the top row of lights, bottom row of right, lights, right, lights, lights. Anyway, and we'll also hold down our option and get another layer of these done. But we don't want them at this angle. We'll do the free transform and change the angle to 90 degrees. And we'll move this over to fit. Let's see, I gotta open this up, get the work path. Okay, we got the work path back, and we'll bring back the guides. And we shall get the transfer light again and make it ninety degrees. Ninety degrees. Move this over. Uh, let's not do it. Let's say we did. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this original one and bring it down. And then do that again. Once again with the gripping, gripping, uh, work here. Don't need to see my face while I'm doing it. And so we can marquee the whole bit. Make there. And make why do you 
now? I guessed correctly. So we've got the top row, we've got the top row, we got the bottom row, and we got the one side. And now we'll go and marquee the left side and make a copy of that and move it over here. And we've got all our lights for the surround, light bulbs for the thing. And now we'll go back to the rectangle tool and build a box around them. So that's the outer edge of the the light box for the things and we'll go in here and build the center part of it so we've got we've got our uh, movie theater poster container thingy thing for the outside of the uh, movie theater so what we're going to do is we're going to save that or copy the work path and call that surround and lights. All right. And now we're going to get everything and move it over move it over here because what we're going to do is take the this box and make a copy of it and move it up over here so this is giving it a three-dimensional look as if we're looking at it at the uh, as if it's on our right. So we're going to go back to the... Oh, we already have the arrow tool, but we don't need the black arrow tool at the moment. We need the white arrow tool, which is here. I'll highlight that. So if you look really closely, there's a there's a filled in dot here and two s open uh, dots here so that means that that's the one that's selected and if we hit a uh, delete it disappears and now we're going to do the rest of the surround so we're gonna go to the pen tool and highlight over here so it'll reattach we're going to go here and we're going up here and here and close it up right there so we've got the uh, what is that called the the body of the of the light box and now since there's a little star next to the pen tool I can do another another thing so well what I can do is I'll start it here and here I can do that later, I guess. Yeah, I'll do that later. And now we'll also go back to our direct, get the inside uh, surround, and also copy that and bring that up here so we'll go back to the direct select 
select that one and delete that and we'll take highlight this point and move it only that move that over here take this one and move it here so that's the inside edge of it but it's since it's open I'm going to go back to the pen join that up move it here and click it here so we've got we've got the inside edge of the box so we can do a little bit of work on that so we have gotten everything to where we want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this thing so we're gonna do a new layer on the uh, on the layer panel and we're going to go to our direct selection or the thing but we only want this and let's see usually the the uh, things on those are like like shiny metallic stuff so we're gonna do like a bronze type color but you're not seeing it because OBS doesn't show you that but we'll see it in a second that's a good color so we'll do that and we'll do uh, call that the body but only one D, not two Ds. All right, and we'll go to our path thing and hit the fill. So there's the outer edge of the box with all the lights. And then we'll do another layer. And, um, uh, We shall hit click here because that'll do all the the front in front of the well behind the lights but the front the front face of it so we'll call this the face and uh, change the color a bit it's kind of dark so let's make it a little bit brighter and fill that in so we got the whole whole area now we probably don't want it through where the where the uh, poster is so I'm gonna click the inside edge and hit the make a selection and get the yield eraser tool out bring that up to a nice size and clear out that on the face uh, thingamabob thingamajigger anyway we're going to deselect that, go back to the paths, and go to the direct select. Okay, so we're going to select the edge and also select that and do this and see what's actually so maybe we'll try to be oh. 
So we're going to invert the selection. But that's not doing it either. All right. So we're going to deselect, go back to here, going to go to get the A at this, and also this, and turn that into a selection, and we've got what we wanted. All right, so we're going to take our color and make it a little bit darker and that should be actually in behind so we're going to hold down the apple button hit hit the new thing so it'll be the new layer shows up underneath we're going to call this the inside edge and hit the b to get our brush and we're going to paint this, fill this in. So we've got we've got it looking a little bit like what we're trying to do, which is what we're here to do, to make it look like what we want to make it look like. I guess that makes sense. Anyway, so here we go. We've got our the case of the display box, the front, and the inside edge to give a little bit of uh, a little bit of depth to it. Now, what do we need? We need to do the lights, the light bulbs that are that surround that so we're gonna do another layer and name those lights and we're going to the A button to bring us the black arrow going to click on these now in an illustrator they have a selection tool that says find similar which would really work great here but unfortunately I haven't been able to find anything similar to that in in uh, Photoshop so we're just gonna have to do the the grunt work and if you see here I clicked inside this the circle so instead of picking the circle it picked the whole the whole face area so we're gonna click that again and get rid of that and click these now what we're going to do is is color these a little bit differently and give them some uh, give them a bezel to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional so once again with the gripping streaming content you don't know what might happen yet well see there I Click the wrong place again, so clearing that off. Boom, two more, and we got all the lights things. So we've got the lights. Let's change the color of yellow to, let's say, And we'll do the fill in the lights. And they don't show up a lot because it's so much similar to the lights on that, but that's okay. What we'll do is this a brilliance brightness of this. Brightness is a hundred percent, so we can't get much brighter than that but what we can do is we'll put in some layer styles do the bevel and emboss 
We set that to default. And we're, you're not seeing that thing because apparently OBS doesn't want you to see it. So I'm just going to change the depth of it and see what that does. That'll bring highlights the that and the size of that should be about right. And we'll want to soften do uh the contour it's flat but we want to make it sort of round so let's see where would we hmm that's not too bad we'll go with that one all right and the Increase the highlights part of the bevel and emboss to shine a bit. Now the shadow mode is is black, so what we're gonna do is gonna pick our dark yellow from there and bring the brightness down to about there. Now I can I'm I'm a fan of putting in a drop shadow, but that doesn't really make much sense because these are supposed excuse me, supposedly bright light bulbs and have you ever seen a light bulb with a shadow underneath it? No, not really. So well, we won't do the drop shadow. But what we'll do is add a what a stroke does to it uh, opacity there we go that should do it for a stroke we're gonna give it an inner glow and usually it's white but it's got a nice color of yellow for it so we're gonna change the opacity doesn't do much for it but let's see there you dodge hmm color Maybe we'll go back to screen mode and change the size of it. No choke. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to change the color a bit and bring down the saturation to, let's say, 20. That we're going in the right direction but bring it up a bit 50% that should do it and the size and the choke yeah more gripping live streaming here just trying to get the light bulbs looking good uh the quality let's see that doesn't do well, let's go into we'll go into a one-on-one -on -one actual size and see Go back into our FX and see what. Oh, you can see a little bit of a thing. So let's see what.
looks kind of nice. Just switching around the blend modes to see what what kind of effect they'll do. Uh, add a little bit of noise. All right, so we got the inner glow. We're going to put in also an outer glow. about right and we will change the spread here to see how big the the area is if we add noise that's not really doing much so we'll change the opacity a bit so it's just Barely noticeable. So at fifty five, that that makes a good effect. All right. So go. Okay, bring that back up to full size. So we've got our box made, the inside edge, all the lights with the glow on it and um, I think maybe that should be enough for this week uh, what is else there to, well what we can do is maybe add a little bit of the shine to the body of the box so we'll go here lock the transparency don't need to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another layer fill it with 50% gray link it to the box and change the blending into soft light so this is a way we can dodge and burn non-destructively on this so we'll go to the default colors and our brushes will be black and we're going to increase the size a bit. And hardness is good on that. And we're going, say, halfway down. Click here. Hold the shift. Click here. And change to the white and I think bring the size down a bit and here and a shift down to here so I go that that 
that's a little bit too much. So let's just bring down the opacity of it to 30. Uh, click that. Click that. There, that gives a little bit of thing. And then, since we're still on the white, we'll do a lighten up the top edge. So, say here, and click over here. Do that a couple times to lighten up the top corner. And then we'll go back to, back to the black. Yeah, I think that's that's enough for today. So we've got the box in. Next week, we'll make a patterned brick facade for the uh, for the our movie theater. Uh, and you might ask why why I did it the way I did it because after well. We're gonna comp composite. We're gonna have the the uh, brick wall made for next week. And we have this. I can now that it's made. I can make a emerged version of this. Well, let, I'll just show you that, that right now. So, turn off the background and click here and here. And hold down our little old option button. And click the merge layers because with the option down it merges everything and leaves the originals because we'll need that for later uh, turn these ones off and if I turn the lights merged into a smart object I can do a free transform on them and like we've seen before, we can change the size of them, move them around the screen, but we can also go into the transforms and do a perspective warp, which when we hit top right hand corner here, can bring it down to make it look look like it's we're at a at a extreme angle to it. Or, in fact, do the illogical and make it look like we're looking at the top edge of it where it's facing the other way. But we can exit out of that. We can also go into the transform and hit the transform flip horizontal, which is like that like the horizon do that so if we go back to the transform perspective we can do what we were doing before but from the other side so or make it look like like a star wars mon in inter uh introduction montage type thing or Ooh, make it even into a hourglass type shape but that's for later uh, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next week when we're going to be making a brick wall from scratch here on the joy of image manipulation and uh, just remember if you have any comments you can go to go to Fishy Digital Photo at gmail.com, and that's fishy with a ph and photo with an f, or to facebook.com slash fishy digital photo. And you can also see me every Friday on, uh, well, last week we were live on uh, Facebook Live and Diamond Club, 
uh, I'd app that uh, my podcast cast about uh, apps for digital phones and uh, both Apple and Android and maybe at some point we might do a show about uh, about Windows phone apps there's a possibility but who knows anyway so that's uh, I'd app that we've changed the time it's likely going to be at nine o'clock eastern from now on i think or it could be eight i'm not sure <laughs> either seven eastern or nine eastern i'm not completely sure how we're going to do it but anyway we'll uh have our next episode will be episode 21 with uh, my co-host Stacy Baldwin and our new co-host uh, Reese Dunlop. Anyway, that's enough for me now. Uh, see you next week for another edition of the Joy of Image Manipulation. Bye.